Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi Redmi 10A and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now you can see that the phone I have right here is locked and I could not lock it using the previously set up pattern or using the Google account. Now assuming I don't know either of those, I'm just gonna remove it. Now to get actually started with the bypass, uh, you will need to just progress through the setup till you get to oh, till you get to the Wi-Fi connection page. As you can see, I am already connected. So you do want to connect yourself. Once you have done so, then scroll down and select Add Network, and then in SSID you want to type in YouTube.com. then hold it this will select the entire link and you can tap on this chain link icon right here next to the search and this opens up youtube so from here we will now navigate to settings or the account and then settings and you want to select about help and in the help search bar you want to type in delete there we go, delete, and the option that we're looking for will come up as I suggested, delete, disable, or manage uh, unused apps on Android. So click on it, and then select the step number one, tap to go to application settings, tap on it three dots and select show system. And from here, we're looking for Android setup as the first option select for stop and ok then go back now if you see another android setup uh, for me it's just one but if you see another one for some reason uh, also go in there and if you have a second one you will probably have to select um, disable which will instead say enable, so select the enable or whatever should then become disabled and then you can also force stop it. That is only for the people that have the second Android setup. So from here, we're gonna scroll down to Google Play Services. Now we go, Google Play Services. Here you're gonna select disable, disable up. If it closes it out back to the, the previous page, just reopen it and then select for stop and OK. Go back again. And next thing we're looking for is settings. So just scroll down even lower. I just passed it. So there we go. You will probably realize that you have two settings. So settings, settings. I'm gonna start off with the first one. And this appears to be the correct one. So as you can see, it has the open option. That's what you're looking for. I'm gonna select open. And from here, we'll now scroll. No, never mind. I don't think we're gonna be scrolling down. Oh, never mind. We are. So you wanna scroll down all the way to additional settings and select accessibility, accessibility mini, and enable it. Allow and okay. Now we're gonna go back. And we're gonna now just start spamming the back button till we get to the beginning of the setup. Okay, there we go. So from here, uh, I'm in Wi-Fi connection page right here throughout the setup. So now I can go forward by pressing button. This will be getting my phone ready. Give it a second. Uh, now that we have disabled play services, uh, it's going to take a little bit longer on this page. That's completely normal. Once it does whatever it's doing right now, you can select don't copy. There we go. And this will then get us stuck on this page. It's going to be checking for updates and then glitches to just a second and goes back for checking for updates. Now the reason it's stuck here is because we have turned off our Google Play services. So this thing is trying to connect to them to see if the device is locked but it can't because they're turned off so what we're going to do right now is 
click on this accessibility mini little guy right here. I'm gonna select Google Assistant, select settings, which appears like right here, though not always. Uh, I'll mention this is completely normal. So if you're wondering why it's not opening, just, just continue doing it. Come on, there we go, settings. It closed it off. That's also gonna be normal. So I believe the faster you try to do this, so the more you like start spamming the buttons, the slower the phone will get and actually it might make the job easier. There we go. Once it opens up the page, you want to select enable right here. And when you enable it, it shouldn't close it off. Uh, it might also keep this page open, even if you don't press the button, but in case it closes off for you, I'll uh, add this, it's also normal. So just keep on repeating it till you manage to enable it. Once you do, go back once. This is crucial, just do it once. And once you do, it just kind of decides that it doesn't need to check if the device is locked or not. So it just kind of skips it and yeah, we can just finish up the setup right now. Now at this point, you do want to just go to the setup by skipping everything that you can. It does not matter in what way you set up your device just yet. Just because uh, we only skipped the verification process, the device is still locked. So we will need to do one last thing once we get access to our home screen, which is a factory reset of the phone through settings. Okay, so as you can see, we are now on our home screen. So from here, just Open up settings. Are you kidding me? Hello, phone. Let's go into settings. There we go. And you want to select about phone. Scroll down and you will find factory reset. And select erase all data factory reset get your 10 seconds wasted right here and another 10 seconds on the next page at which point once you press on ok which is on the next page just there we go once you press on the ok after the 10 seconds the device will begin factory resetting which is what you need to do as a last step now i'm not going to go over this on the video just because it does waste even more time this phone is quite slow so you can imagine uh, but it is a crucial last portion of the bypass. Once the device resets, it will additionally remove all the protections that the phone had. So pin, pattern, password, whatever it was, Google accounts, all gone. So at that point, it's going to be just fully unlocked and you can set it up however you want. Now with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.